In the last video, we saw, how to create a Spring Boot project from scratch, using STS and Spring Initializer. And, how to create a REST API, using REST Controller, and get mapping annotations. We expose these two URLs, from our Spring Boot REST API application. So that when we go to the browser, and access these, we get the required response. In this video, we will understand the concept of path variables in Spring Boot REST API and how to use them to generate dynamic URLs. Till this point, our application has a support for this URL, which returns a list of two users. In a real world application, this list would be much larger, and would be fetched from a database. Now, suppose we want to fetch the details of a single user, with a given ID or name. This can be done, by supplying the required ID or name, after the actual URL. Like this. This, is called path variable. To support path variables, the URL mapping, of handler method in Spring Boot Controller, also needs to be modified in the same format, that is, here, the curly braces, signify, that this is a path variable, and its value, will be received from the URL after, user slash. To access the value of path variable, we need to add a parameter in our controller method. There are two things to consider, when defining this parameter. First, the data type of parameter, should be compatible with the type of value of path variable in the URL. That is, if the path variable, would be a number, then the parameter, can be of type integer, float, double, a string, or an object. That is, any data type, which can contain a number. If the path variable, would be a string, such as username, then the data type of parameter, can only be a string, or an object. In case, the type of path variable, and the data type of controller method argument are incompatible. You will get an exception, and we will see this later in the video. Second point, is that the method parameter, should be preceded, with path variable annotation, followed by the name of the parameter, enclosed between parenthesis and double quotes. This name, should match the name of path variable, given in curly braces, after the mapping URL, over the controller method. This name is required, since the controller method, can have multiple parameters, and a URL mapping, can also have multiple path variables. So, you should tell Spring Boot, that which path variable, should be mapped with which method parameter. Considering these two points, the controller method, with path variable support, can be written as Now, let's write the code, to return a user, with a given ID. First, we need to create a list of users, and then, get the user, matching with ID. To create a list of two users, we can call this method internally since it defines a list, and adds two users. Next, to get the user, with matching ID, we can use multiple methods. First, is using a for loop, or more appropriately, enhanced for loop. Its syntax is, for, followed by parenthesis, the data type of list elements, which is user, the name of loop variable, colon, and the name of list, we are iterating over. Inside this loop, compare the ID of user with the ID, we are looking for, if it matches, return this user object. Second method, is using Java 8 stream, and Lambda expression. Java 8 stream, provides a filter method, which can be used, to get element from a list, matching some condition. To get a stream, use stream method, over list object. On this stream, call filter method. Filter accepts a predicate as argument. Predicate is a simple condition, which returns true, or false. If it returns true, the current element is considered, otherwise it is rejected. Filter is invoked, for each list element, and it tests the provided predicate. In this case, the predicate will be. This, is a lambda expression, and here, u is a variable, that is local to filter method. This predicate, will be tested for each list element, and variable u, corresponds to each list element. Variable id, corresponds to the ID of the user, that we are searching. If you are not familiar with lambda expression, then watch the video, whose link is at the top right corner. To get the element, 
for which this predicate is true, invoke find first method of stream. Find first. Returns an object of type optional, which is a wrapper, around an object. The type of optional, is the same, as the type of list, that is, user. To get the underlying user object, call get method on optional. This. Can be assigned, to an object of type user. The ID, of this user object, matches the ID, that we get in the URL. Return this. Start the application. Go to the browser, and try to fetch user, with ID 1 using URL, user slash 1. It works. As I stated earlier, the type of path variable, should match the data type of parameter, in controller method. Which is annotated with path variable annotation. If they do not match, then we get an exception. Let us look at this. The data type of controller method parameter, is an integer. Let us change the path variable to a string. We get a bad request. And if we go to the spring application. Here we have an error method argument type mismatch exception, and the message is. Fail to convert the value of type string, to integer. To resolve this error, change the parameter type, to string. One last point. If the name of this parameter, is the same as that written inside curly braces, then the name, given after path variable annotation, can be omitted. That is all for this video, thanks for watching.